Hi guys, in this video I'm going to introduce you to the animations ribbon. Here you can really fine tune your presentation and make it exciting. You can add transitions and also custom animations to all the objects in your presentation. And today we're going to talk about animations and transitions briefly. So, animations. In animations, actually we're going to focus just on animations in this video. I'm going to do another video on transitions, okay? So in animations, basically all the objects in your presentation, that is, in this particular slide we're looking at, this text box is an object, and this text box is an object. In this slide, this text box is an object, and the, this text box is an, is an object, although we will get to finer control with the bullet points as well and you'll see so let's focus on the first slide and do a couple animations so you can see how this thing works so we click on this text box we we'll go to animation over here on the top left and we can choose a custom animation from one of these commonly used ones or we can click here on custom animation and get the whole menu system on the right here okay now, you see automatically on the slide that we're on, it treated the first text box as one object and the second one as another, okay? And those markers, one and two, are there so we can track our animation on this slide. So, in one, which is over here, we can choose an animation by clicking on it and then going over to change we can add an entrance animation let's say fly in and it'll automatically preview that we can also remove that animation and you see the number disappears and this becomes number one okay so again we click on that box and we'll add an effect entrance fly in okay and now that became number two so just you got to keep track with the numbers they connect to these numbers over here okay in the sequence that you do the animations they appear here on this list okay and these numbers are connected to these numbers so if I go over to one you see it automatically highlights one here on the right and then I can change the animation here I can put an emphasis on it and say spin and it does a spin for us okay and when we're happy with what we've done we can go down here and do a little preview before we even go to a slideshow by clicking play over here so that was first and second notice it did this spin first because this was number one and then this flew in because this was number two so the sequence is determined over here and that can be changed as well by dragging things up and down okay so by dragging this up I made this one and this two and so if I preview it again by clicking play down here you'll see first we fly in then we spin okay so I encourage you to just play with this and not take it too much too much as a science okay have fun with it let's go to our second slide and you see like I said it treated this text box as one and each bullet in this text box as a separate object so let's leave the title as is and let's go over to this text box with the seven bullets and which are represented here by the numbers 2 to 8 as well as here by the numbers 2 to 8 now for each one of these I can add a little uh, fly in perhaps by clicking on it then choosing entrance fly in I can even try something else maybe entrance checker box entrance box try a different one for each and there's actually more if you go to more effects you'll get even more effects over here and 
you can choose any one of these you like. Hit OK. And finally, let's do flying. And then if we preview this by again clicking over here on the bottom right, we'll see that video tutorials comes in. And each one of the bullets comes in with its own animation. Okay? So this was just a brief introduction to animations. I can do uh, more videos on this, actually showing more details and more controls that you can have. Also be sure to watch the video I'm going to do on slide transitions. As you see when I hit play, the slide kind of checker box is in. And that, what you're seeing right there, is the transition I've applied. And I'll do a video on how to do those, how to change those, and how to manage those throughout your presentation. Okay? So, till next time, watch my Excel, PowerPoint, Access, Math, Statistics, and other tutorial videos, and have a great day.